I want, I would like to tell you more than what I am going to tell you, but uh, the time is too short. We that live in Colombia love people coming to Colombia. And what we are trying to do, to do now is to introduce into the beef market, into, into, the, into the international beef market. We are about 50 million people living in Colombia. Uh, we have a new president that just got into the government the past August 7th. Uh, he's, he is very young. He's 42 years old. And he is working a lot. And he has in his mind sustainability. Uh, his program, his, his governmental program is related with sustainability in all subjects. So it is it's very important for us, for me and for my friends that come from Colombia, to be here and to share with you uh, all what we can. <laughs> Mi nombre es Nelson Barragán. Ser llanero es una carrera que se hace a lo largo de toda la vida. No es solamente producir el ganado ni esas cosas, sino saber uno sobrevivir acá con el paso de los años. Es muy importante vivir muchos años en el llano para cada día aprender más secretos de este lugar. Ha sido muchas, aquí se han vivido muchas guerras y siempre gracias al amor de los llaneros por su tierra pues hemos ido pasando épocas tras épocas de conflictos diferentes. Tengo suerte que vivo en un paraíso, pero me preocupa más el ansia de riqueza de las personas que cualquier otro tipo de cosas. Al comienzo, cuando creé la, la idea del ecoturismo, hace 17 años, los vecinos pensaban que yo estaba pues, algo mal de la cabeza. Pero pues así el tiempo me ha dado la razón. Hay más de 23 jaguares, hay eh, cientos de chigüiros, las corocoras y cientos de aves los amigos de muchos lugares del planeta vienen es por eso porque esto acá no ha sido tocado, no ha sido intervenido no ha sido transformado Sí, soy una afortunada un gran afortunado de vivir acá Thank you, WWF, for sharing this uh, with us. This is part of Colombia. This is not whole Colombia. Colombia is full of mountains, of green mountains, nice people living in, in, in the fields. We have uh, around 5,000 people working in, in cattle. We have, a lot, we have uh, nearly 6,000 places with cattle. Excuse me? No, five, 500,000. 500,000. But in the, in the Mesa de Ganaria Sostenible Colombia, we are 46 members, public and private members. I am part of this uh, round table, being part of Inagro. These are all of our members. Solidaridad that is here, they just got into, into, into our round table. And that is very, it is very important because each one is putting not a small part, but a big part of themselves helping to develop our industry and our production. It is very important to start with this because we have some national actions for appropriate mitigation 
that uh, were signed by Colombia, by the government of Colombia in, 12, in 2015, and it is named the NAMA Registry. We are trying to reduce 20% of the uh, GI emission gases, uh, starting with the baseline of, of 2015, but we are trying to make compromise to, to, to make compromise inter, international, national state and the farms by themselves with some actors that are related with all the chain. Producers, auction, slaughter plants, dairy plants, dairy transport. These are some of the actions that we have been trying to do and we have been giving all of the actors some basis in order to develop all their activity. For producers, civil pastoral intensive and conventional systems, ecofficient practices, post pasture improvement. For example, for auctions and for uh, slaughter plants, efficient use of water, traceability, clear energy production. It is very important for us to introduce this also. And also for transport, not only for producers and for industry, also for transport that are part of the big chain. We have in Colombia these seven regional roundtables. We are one big roundtable and we have seven regional roundtables. And we are usually talking with them, but we let them work by themselves. We are usually talking with them and we are giving them what they should do, but they can do by themselves. This is our livestock. We are the 12th biggest livestock in the world. We are the fourth in Latin America. We have nearly 26.3 million cattle now, but we nearly don't export. Our exports are very small. Look how it has been increasing. And it is very important for us to show you because in order to show sustainability, you have to show many things, how environmental uses are, are very good, but also financial and social improvements can help. If you see, in 2015, we had 22.8 million cattle. Now we have 26.3 million cattle. I'll show you later in the, in the last uh, uh, films that in, in, in the year 2015, we were seeing, we were watching that the, 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 the number of cattle were not increasing and they were indeed decreasing. And the government decided to help producers giving a credit line with subsidy in order so that they could keep cows. So the credit line received a subsidy in, the, in, in its interest rate and they helped since then to increase the number of cows. This is our, our livestock, 26.3 million, breeding cows, 10.2 bulls, 4.6, double purpose milking cows and milking cows. These are, why double purpose? Because we are a tropical country. We double purpose, uh, almost 90% uh, of our cattle are, are Brahman uh, and have also, we have also uh, a lot of, of Jir and, uh, and uh, Gusera brought from Brazil in order to produce, to increase the production of milk. To, uh, of milk. So, so double purpose is very important. Why? Because when you have milk in the fields, you have currency and you're able to pay day by day what you need, your market, your services, your school. So with double purposes, we produce nearly 60% of the milk, but also all these calves intro are introduced into the fattening uh, production. These are, our, these are our, our destinies, our principal destinies of, of exports. We are just starting with it. Egypt, Jordan, Iraq, Lebanon, and Peru. These are animal exports. We send them alive by, 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 by ships. And you can see that now they are, we, have, we are having beef exports. And they are, we are introducing more and more beef into the, into the community all around the world since we started making this. What are we trying to do? I'm sure that maybe all of you have tasted Colombian coffee. 
what do we want to do? Introduce good beef to the world. Sustainable beef to the world. Why? Because all our cattle are grass-fed. So we have to increase productivity. We have to increase certain parameters in order to, to give a, a good quality beef. But we, I'm, I'm sure that we are, are, are able to do so. Why? Coffee producers are similar to, to, to if the number is similar, we also have 500,000 Colombian coffee producers, similar to, to, to beef producers. And it's very important to share with you two important programs that are now being developed here in Colombia. This is one that is Proyecto de Ganadería Sostenible. We receive funds from the UK government and from the Nature Conservancy, Fondo Acción, Jeff, Banco Mundial, World Bank, and it's administrated by FEDEGAN, the big uh, federation of Colombian producers. In this program, we've been get, we, we, we introduced to 4,000 small and medium-sized producers in 87 municipalities in 12 states help. How, why? To produce with a friendly environment, to increase connectivity, to reduce poverty and increase to reduce poverty and increase productivity, and in order to, to have a mitigation and adaptation to climate change. Look what this program has been able to do. Organize more than 600 events with around 10,000 people all around Colombia. And we, we've having uh, the possibility to have some achievements with some strategic alliances with several private vivariums, and also with some regional uh, uh, governmental foundations that are in charge of developing environmental programs. So more than two and a half million trees have given to, to producers, to beef producers all around Colombia. Most of it has been developed through suitable pastoral uh, 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 programs. Look, to 24,000 hectares with scattered trees and light fences. This is part of the help of the resources of, the, of, the, of all what we have been doing with the programs with these 4,000 people. Even these days, look, more than 2,600 hectares introduced into civil pastoral intensive programs. And with rural extension also given to women in the fields new producers, and, I told, and, and as I told you in the, in, the, in the before presentation, with generational relief. We want people to keep in the fields. It's not, it is not very easy because kids want to be technological all by themselves, always, but we want to keep them in the fields. What have, they, what have we done through these civil pastoral uh, programs? We have decreased uh, the cost of production, 18.5%. The incomes have increased $576 per hectare and increased also the, the capacity in the fields, 23% with civil pastoral systems in Colombia. This is the second program. It just started and it is very important. Here, Javier Ortiz is part of our team in Colombia. He's, he's working very hard in this. This program uh, has, has a very good uh, uh, helping people. He works for GGI, GGGI, and Ministerio of Agricultura and uh, Environmental Ministry also are part of it. This is based in three states of Colombia. This, uh, uh, and what, and Finagro is also participating in this program. What, what, what do we want to do? Give give producers the possibility to have some income in order so that they can give back some of their land into forest. So we can give a loan and we can give a subsidy to them in order so that they give back this part of their lands uh, to, 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 to forest again. 37.4 hectares of pastures in, 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 in livestock. 
550,000 farms approximately, as I told you before. And main changes is, main challenges is to, uh, to have, uh, uh, we have an inefficient land of use, 20 million hectares in conflict of use. So we want to know in Colombia, what use do we have to give this? It's built up, we are building this by a, by a national uh, uh, governmental uh, corporation that is working in it. And what challenges do we have? High pressure towards deforestation, livestock as main economic activity. Uh, livestock is uh, around 95% of the of the of the places in Colombia, so we have uh, livestock all over the country. So it is very important for us. Lack of capital to invest in, in sustainable sustainable systems, lack of formality in, in land tenure, lack of technical assistance for uh, sustainable agricultural agricultural systems. This is how it works. This is how it works. Uh, uh, it, it is starting now. We are giving uh, to small size producers, look, to small size producers, 100, 100 small size producers, and we have about $1.2 million to give them as a subsidy for this program. Involved with zero deforestation agreements that we have been uh, uh, signed as international, as international country. And I want to give you some numbers about loans in Colombia. For uh, the year 2015, we gave Infinagro through local banks 47,000 loans for $464 million. And look how they have been increasing since we gave also a message to all producers in Colombia that it is good to have cattle, but what we have been trying to do everywhere is to have sustainable production. So look how we have had been increasing. 50, uh, $572 million, $773 million by uh, 2017, and now by July we have been given $391 million. But with the credit line with subsidy just for, 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 uh, for retention cows, look, we gave the first year 133 loans for 8,400 cattle, just $4.4 million because it was just for three months. But afterwards, it has been increasing. It has been increasing. And we gave about $10 million as a subsidy for the interest rate. But the, 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 the meaning for these people is that the government and the banks are willing to make good business and to help people make good business around cattle production. So, thanks for all.